Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Coach Fury here and we are back today with our latest episode of our Chicago Bulls Let's Play series in Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 21. And we are continuing on the playoff trail. We are now in the Eastern Conference Finals and we are up against a tough matchup really in, in the Milwaukee Bucks. So let's dive in and have a little look and, and see how how this is going to look, what we're thinking about this series and how we're going to go from there. So I guess the good thing to comment on to begin with is that we are healthy once again. So we're in good shape and um, we're not necessarily going to change the rotation to begin with, I think, for this first one. But in terms of the strategy, we've got an interesting dis decision here because we're up against a team that is a, is a really good offensive team pretty good from three point range and have some interesting players on their roster and, and let's just take a little look at that so realistically this team is pretty much led by Janis um, and Antetokounmpo I can't say his last name unfortunately we'll just call him Janis I think uh, a guy who is, is just an inside guy he's not particularly a great three point shooter so again I think we'll want to try and force him into the outside and then outside of that they've got Drew Holiday who is, is, is still a pretty good player despite his age at 32. But outside of that, they've got Chris Middleton, who we all know is a phenomenal shooter and just a really good offensive player. But, you know, they, they're relying on a lot of bench pieces, in my opinion, to kind of fill the best part of the rotation. So where do I, I feel we're going to go with this? I think in terms of the strategy, I think we'll put the similar sort of strategy we have for the past two games, to be perfectly honest with you, which is, you know, to basically go, look, we're going to play straight man to man. We're going to get to a situation where we're going to force you. To, we're going to play zone defense, no full court pressing, and force you to basically put shots up against us. We got a little bit dicey against the the likes of the um, against the likes of uh, I forgot who we played now against the likes of the 76ers in the last series. We did take a nice three 0 lead, and that was kind of enough to get the job done in the end. So I think that's where we're going to go with this this series and, and to begin with and see how we get on. Elsewhere, you know, in the Western Conference Finals, you've got the Jazz against the Suns, the one seed against the two seed, which is going to be interesting. So on both sides of, of this Conference Finals, we have the number one seed against the number two seed. And it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top in both of those. But without further ado, let's dive straight into it. As usual, if we get to crucial games, we'll sim through and watch and see how we get on. But for now, we're going to sim through game by game and, and see how the first set of this series goes. So, first game of the series, we managed to snag a seven-point lead, it looked like there. Oh, an error message. Let's go back. A seven-point lead against the Bucks. Clearly forcing them into three-point shots. 42% is, if they carry on like that, we're going to have some difficulty. But it was our shooting numbers that kind of came out on trumps. Jaron Jackson Jr. with a great performance there again. And it looks like we forced um, Middleton, Giannis, and a lot of the starting rotation into 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 foul trouble. Holiday getting into foul trouble is always a real advantage for us because it forces them to put in some of these bench players who they're not going to want to necessarily play. So we go on to game two at home. Can we hold home court? We can't. We lose by two points. Off. Oh, that's a killer. That's a killer. Losing by two points in that one. Clearly, this is a game of of offense. They are shooting fairly well. Um, Janis, 0 of 6 from downtown is fine. But Middleton is kind of the yin to the yang, which is, is the struggle. We kind of need to limit both to some extent where we can. So I think what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to just bring the zone defense down just a little bit for game three and see how we get on. Have we got any injuries? That's the key thing. We do not. So I just want to, we need to slow them down a little bit on offense. If we can do that, I think we'll have enough in the bag for this one. So we split the home games, we go on the road. Can we snag one on the road to keep the uh, the home game balance split? We can't, we lose by eight in this one. Let's take a little look at this and see what happened. So we stopped them, slowed them down a little bit. Our, we slowed them down a lot actually, I'm not sure. Turnovers clearly was the issue. We had 15 to their, their six, which is, is a bit of a concern. We'll take a little look at that. Turnovers is Clearly a bit of an issue. Let's have a look. What's our pace like? Our offensive pace is, is fairly okay. I think we'll speed that up by one tick for the next game and see how we get on. Just minor adjustments is what I'm thinking we need. 
So game four, can we get pull it back to two apiece? We can. We make a 12 point win in that one. Minor adjustments look like they were working in, in this one. Well, sorry, not 12 points, it was an eight point win. Kyle Leonard coming out, our main star coming out and putting up numbers that we need. And we have slowed them down a lot. Three point numbers have been be been better. Um, obviously on field goal percentage, we are winning that battle. Turnovers is still a bit of an issue though, but that's fine. We are in good shape. That's a much better performance from where we were. Ross hit in foul trouble. Middleton hit in foul trouble, although late on it looks like. So good, a good performance from our perspective. Let's move on. We are at home, two apiece. Can we take the home court win? We can. We win by 23 in that one. Wow. That's a statement win if I ever saw one in the, in the game five. 23 point win is, is a great, great start. Kawhi Leonard coming out amazingly again in this one with 24 points. 7 of 14. Good numbers from him. Jackson Jr. and Clark also supporting. We slowed them down definitely on offense as well. You can see there. And our turnovers have come down to a little bit of a better range than they were previously. So that means we go into game six. We have two chances to win this series now. McConnell is probable with food poisoning. I think what we will do, what shall we do? I think we'll just give Peyton a couple more minutes here in there and essentially say McConnell just play eight minutes for us I don't really want to put White in at point guard or Jenkins at this point it's too too crucial a game I think even with his slight injury he'll still be better than what we've got off the bench so we go into this one we are 3-2 up in the series can we get the job done on the road against the Bucks let's take a look and see no changes to their rotation no changes to ours We've made minor strategy adjustments. Let's see if that is enough to get this one in the bag and walk away with it in game six. And they come out with a hot start again against us. Five points immediately on the bag for them. For us, it's going to be a little bit about just slowing down a balance of some of their offensive styles. As we've, we've commented, Middleton is kind of the guy who can hit the three-point shot. Giannis can hit the inside shot. If we can sort of stop them from being as efficient as they normally are, um, we don't want either of those to get hot. If they get hot, then we are going to be in trouble. From our side, if Kawhi Leonard keeps up that shooting performance, we are going to be in fantastic shape. As it looks like in this one, it's neck and neck at this point. We take a little bit of a lead here in earlier in this first quarter here by four points or so. About eight points now we've we've jumped ahead. Nine points we've jumped ahead. I'm not sure why we're lagging a little bit, but that's a bit weird. We've taken a nice 12 point lead in that first quarter. We go into the second quarter now in good form. They have been struggling in terms of shooting from everywhere. 36% from field goal, 25% from three point range. I'm not sure why the lag is 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 happening. Um let me have a little look at that. Uh, okay, the bunners are not working, but it looks like it's picked up a little bit. Getting a little bit of a, a glitch. Apologies for that. I'm not sure why why it's doing that. Probably struggling a little bit with the pace on this one. There we go. Hopefully that that helps with a bit of a pause and a start again. As we're up by ten or so, we're we're in a good position going into this. Hopefully into this second half now. But they've managed to pick us back a little bit. Their shooting numbers have definitely picked up. That key thing is Giannis is one of eight. That's key. Middleton is five of six, so he's having a pretty good night by all respects. So hopefully, if we can keep up those numbers, we're in, we're going to be in good good shape. Turnover battle. We've had ten turnovers to their four. So clearly, they have been pressing us a lot on that side. We've forced a lot of well, we've we've had a lot of turnovers against us. They've been winning that battle for sure. And the game has just jumped to the half for me. I'm not sure why that is. But we are up by one at the half. Jackson Jr. having a good game. Nobody's really in foul trouble for either team. Um, Peyton looks like he may have had a bit of foul issues. He's only played 15 minutes. Which means McConnell's had to play a fair stint. But that's okay at this moment in time. So we go into the second half. Can we get the, the job done here against the Bucks in, in game six? As they take a little bit of a lead here in this one.
bit of a lag on on this game. I'm not sure why. I do, do apologise for that. But it looks like it looks like the Bucks have taken a bit of a lead. We seem to be jumping around a little bit more than than I have seen previously with this game. As they take a three point lead here, with seven fifty to go, a six point lead with six thirty to go in the third quarter. Bucks have come out strong in this third quarter to try and get themselves back into this series. Clearly we are suffering from some, some, some lag issues here in this one. As they've taken an 11 point lead. Wow, that third quarter has certainly blown us away at this point in time. Holiday having a good performance. We need to get ourselves back in this one, guys. 12 point gap going into the fourth quarter is not going to be a good for us. 9 point gap. Minutes going in the third quarter here. We need to get ourselves closer. 7 point gap. We really need a good, strong fourth quarter here to come away and at least be competitive in this one. It looks like the Bucks are going to hold on at this moment in time. We have been struggling on the uh, the on the defensive end in in this third quarter against them. See if we can peg ourselves back and at least be competitive in this one. But it looks like the Bucks have got all the cards to play at this moment in time. Eight minutes to go. They're up by. 13 points or so we need a bit of a miracle now at this point it looks like we've had some foul issues in the backcourt because we've got mcconnell and white in at this point and also foul issues up, up front as well because birch is in now so maybe we've hit some foul trouble as well i'm not sure why because they've only hit eight on they've only had nine free throws so but our rotation's back in now 13 minutes to go 11 point gap can can we close ourselves back in on this one or will it be a little bit of a stretch too far 13 points for three minutes to go i'd say it's a little bit of a stretch too far but you never know 11 points for two and a bit to go nine points for two and two and a bit to go i'll just slow it down a little bit and see if that stops some of the lag issues that we're having but i don't think we're going to come away with this one it's a minute to go gaps 10 points need a bit of a, a miracle nine points to go with well 49 seconds to go i think the bucks are going to come away and we're they're going to force a game seven against us it looks like that that's pretty much the case so i'm um, we've got some crazy things happening here it looks like they've won by eight points middleton had a phenomenal game eight of 13 four or seven from downtown Janice was only 5 of 15, which I guess was a positive we can take away from this. But clearly we had some foul issues. Jackson Jr. and Peyton had foul issues, which caused us a bit of a problem. So we end up with a game seven here against the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's have a look and see how the uh, the rest of the playoffs are going. So the Jazz have beaten the Suns. They are through to the finals. But clearly we have some work to do in this one. And let's have a little think about whether we want to change any of the strategy. So um, I'm, I'm a bit mixed with this one. I guess in terms of the strategy, I'm, I'm broadly comfortable with where we're at. I think we've got enough to get the job done. I guess the question means whether, is whether we want to, whether we want to change any of these and go out to maybe possibly like an attack and stop that in outside game. I'm not sure let's have a little look at the uh the result and see how we how we looked in the last game so they're not obviously scoring points in the paint 22 points to our 40. second chance points though 23 i think we need to try and slow that down if we can second chance points so i think on offensive crash boards we'll slow that down we'll, we'll crash more of the boards there see if that that gives us that advantage back hopefully um and i think i'm not sure i'm just debating just debating whether hmm, hmm whether we want to change this up obviously we're straight man to man at the moment in terms of the way that they are playing let's have a look so obviously playing primitive focus where they're high pick and roll usage high catch and shoot usage 
do we gamble and do we go let's go switch um, let's do it let's do it let's go with it um and see how we get on so game seven against the bucks can we get the result we need come over this one get ourselves in to the nba finals let's see we are at home hopefully that gives us a bit of an advantage here but let's let's certainly see how this one works out been a tough first quarter for both teams actually in terms of scoring numbers they put up a point there for us we've been struggling on offense though 20 percent shooting they've taken a nine point lead now in this one we need to up our game guys come on six point gap already bucks are coming out strong in this one Ten point gap now with the first quarter gone. Is that going to be? Are we going to already have stretched out a bit of a? Lead? They're shooting phenomenally well, actually. It's fair to say against us, but we have been certainly struggling from that side. Six turnovers though, so we've had less turnovers in this one. But they are just shooting phenomenally against us. We are certainly not at the races at all here. We managed to peg them back to within 10, it looks like. But Giannis having a good game, Middleton having a good, good game. We are not slowing them down a single bit in this one. Yeah, the gap is just getting to ridiculous numbers now at this point. We need to up our offensive game. That clearly has been terrible, 40%. Is not good enough if we can get ourselves back to our normal sort of numbers of 48 percent or so then we might have a chance in this one but we're down at 14 and a half jan is having a good game which is a bit of a worry for us because we don't want him to go off on one 14 point gap can we peg them back at least to be competitive in this one at least make them have at least a tough game going into game seven because soon we're up three two this is a, a bit of a worry for us we haven't really been very good on, on the offensive side. Turnovers has been an issue. 12 turnovers to their 7 is clearly clearly not good enough. They are shooting really, really well from downtown. 15 to 31 is just, is just not good enough. But we picked them back to within 8 in the third quarter. We look like we're having a bit of a run here. Is that going to be enough to hopefully save this one? I don't know, but we are getting closer. As we go back into the end of the third quarter here, we're down by seven. Really all down to this fourth quarter now. Five point game is the gap. Can we do enough to pull ourselves through in this one? We peg them back to within three there. Can we, can we slow them down at least? Now it's all tied. Nine minutes left in this quarter. It's neck and neck. Both teams are really, really going for it now on the offensive side. So we take a slim, slim lead. As they take a lead now as well it's back and forth it's really back and forth in this one it could go either way it really could no team is coming out and really putting their stamp on this fourth quarter let's slow it down now with three and a bit to go we're up by two three and a half to go in this one have we done enough or will the the box come out and just have a bit of a charge in this fourth quarter and get it done they move in, we grab the turnover, and they turn it, we turn the ball over as well, and it's a defensive foul on the other end, and they are now neck and neck with us with 2 minutes 45 to go. We push the ball inside, Brandon Clark hits it, we're up by 2 again. 2 minutes 30 to go. They drive in, it's dished out, shots up, it's missed, Clark grabs the rebound. If we can get another score here, then we at least put a bit of pressure on them at this point. We move in out into jackson jr jackson jr goes in he drives it in we are up by four. Oh my goodness me four points up with a minute and 42 to go and there's a defensive foul and they immediately peg two back against us so one minute 30 to go this could be a key possession here we move in we pass the ball out 
back into Clark. Clark moves in, dishes it out to Peyton. Peyton hits it, and we are back up by four of a minute, just over a minute to go now. Ball goes into Smalky. Balls into Giannis, back out to Holiday, into Giannis. Giannis is probably, no, he's not going to take the shot. It's put up, it's missed. They grab the rebound. Giannis grabs the rebound, puts it in. It's a two point game with 45 seconds to go. This is a crucial, crucial possession now because it's, if we score this, it's really in our court now to try and win this. But it's all about this possession. We move in, and I'm guessing there was a turnover of some sort, but they shoot and miss, grab the rebound. We've got it, 15 seconds. They're now fouling us. A two point game. We've missed both free throws. Shots in. Nine seconds to go. Foul. And it's one point game. They're going to have to foul us immediately, surely. They're not. We chuck it up. We get the rebound. And I think that's it. Wow, that was a crazy end to that one. Okay, that was very weird. I don't know why they didn't foul us with eight seconds to go. But that means that we are through to the NBA Finals. One point win over the Milwaukee Bucks. I, I will certainly take that. We've got the job done. Finally, in a game seven, we are on our way to the NBA Finals. Wow, that was that was crazy. Again, we made hard work of it. 3-2 up in the series. But we came out chop chomps in the end. I'm going to save the game now at this point to make sure that we don't have any funny business. And we are now in the NBA Finals up against the Utah Jazz. Can this be the season that we finally win the NBA title? Well, tune in next time to find out. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed the episodes, hit that like and subscribe button and follow when the uh, next episode comes out for the NBA Finals. And we'll take do a bit of a breakdown of the Jazz, see how we get on that series, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we come away with that title.